welcome back to my channel in today's video we're already setting up my next journal i'm so excited so here is my current journal and i feel weird already setting up my next journal because um i've flown through this one i mean i'm still not done but as you know if you watch my channel i always do it a little bit ahead um so that it's ready when i'm ready for it so this is my current journal i still have a little bit to go but currently i have been in this journal for almost a month so yeah this one's going by pretty quickly so i wanted to show you guys my next lineup so i wanted to show you guys my lineup of journals or what i'm currently thinking thinking that this journal is going to be my next journal so the one we're setting up today this is what it looks like. It is grid paper, which is my favorite, and it's kind of thin, and it's a hard cover. So I got this journal from my Paper Gang subscription box. I don't know what month this was from. It was from the Space theme month. Was that August or September? I think it was from September. So I got this in the September Paper Gang box, and so I think I'm going to use it as my next journal. But here are the other journals that I have currently lined up. This journal I got from my most recent Paper Gang box, which is the October box. It's pretty small, so this would be a quick journal. And it's small like this too. I don't know what size, but it has dotted paper. So yeah, this is an option. I don't really know what I'm gonna use this, but it's easy to squeeze in anytime. This journal though, I'm really excited for. I just got this journal for my birthday actually it's a journal made out of an old book so they took the old book cover and filled it with just regular paper and the brand is about blanks also it's like such a cute size so i'm really excited about this one we'll see how it goes with this blank paper i'm thinking of using this one after whatever one i choose well after this one if i go with it and then this journal i just bought and i'm obsessed with it this journal i mean it could end up being like the new year when i end up using this but i found it at michael's and it's from the recollections brand as you can see there's different types of paper in it and also the binding is pretty cool but i do like how it's like a plain cover so that will be fun to decorate with stickers and i like the pages in this in the inside it's definitely made for journaling it's made for mixed medias there's white paper and there's a section of craft paper and then it goes back to white paper and i love the feel of the paper in this and i just love how it switches to craft paper i just think it's so cool so i'm excited to use this but i don't think i'll get to it quite yet so the current lineup is this journal then this journal and then this journal and then i'll squeeze this journal in possibly between these two or between these two i feel like it might be nice between these two just to give myself a little break because this will be a little longer and then this is going to be a long one we'll see how that changes right when i got this journal from my paper game box i knew i wanted to use it as my next one so I think that's what we're gonna go with today. One sticker I know I want to use is this I'm voting sticker even though I'm too young to vote. It came with some Glossier stuff. I got some Glossier stuff for my birthday and so this is the sticker they gave with it. And so this journal I'll be using during the election. So I thought this would be very on theme. Okay so here are my other stickers and I guess we should get right into picking out our stickers to use. I got some new stickers from some Etsy shops, so I'll have to find those and link them down below. And these three stickers that say, tell your cat I say hi. So cute. I'm a huge cat person, so these are perfect for me. This also came from the same place, and it says, ask me about my cat. From a different Etsy shop, I got these ones. There's like the Powerpuff Girls and Haku from Spirited Away. And of course I have my All Things Lily Ann stickers, like always. That could be a cool one to use. This could be cool. I'm debating what to put where or what to even 
put on this one. I have these cute little Lego stickers. I'll put the shop down below or I'll put the name on screen also. I just don't know it on the top of my head, so I'll have to figure that out. I don't even know if I want to put this one on here. I am really liking these two for this and Billy in this one too. If you don't know what this is, it's like kind of like the drawing that Billie Eilish made of like her soul. What she thinks it looks like. I like these two and that one and i'm thinking maybe i'll incorporate these legos maybe i could do maybe i could put buttercup on here i don't know i don't think i want it super full i think maybe we might go more simple okay let's just start placing some of these so i can get an idea of where we are I'll just put down the ones i'm sure of so far so the first one i'm putting down is from all things lily ann i am obsessed with this design i think this is one of my favorites of hers i debated getting two not only is it a quote i love but i also love the design and the colors and stuff And then, like I said, this sticker is from Glossier. I just got it with my purchase. And then, and then this sticker is from Redbubble. So now I'm kind of just debating how full I want it to be and just how much I want to add. I think this one might be cute. I debate about this a lot. So this sticker is from a local art shop. That one's cute. This might be the final. I'm gonna stick on this one. I need to start storing some of my own stickers with my other stickers because I always forget about them because they're always just put to the side. So I do want to include some of my own. Maybe I'll just put this one. So if you don't know, I have an Etsy and you can get and you can get this sticker and some of my other stickers i'll put it on the screen it's star stationery supply and there's always a link down below i really like that so glad i remembered okay do i put the yellow or the teal lego i think i'm gonna go with the yellow just because it matches a little more these stickers are so cute Okay, so this is my cover. It's different for me because this background, this journal is so much darker, so it makes the stickers pop more, so hopefully I get used to that. I love decorating my journal cover. It just makes it so much more fun. Now we worry about the inside. So what I'm thinking for part of the cover pages is I found this little journal thing at five below and I think it is so cool. So it has all these cool like collaged pages and it has different prompts on it and stuff and I was thinking that I could either use it normally or just cut things out of it because there's some like cool things and so one of the things is just like the title page and I want to put this as the cover page okay let's trim this a little bit Okay, so now I just need to cut this out. So I'll glue this on and there will still be a little to trim just because the outside cover isn't the same size as the pages. Oh my god, that's not good. So... cool and then the first page is always annoying because it's like kind of connected to this so i might just tape these together i think i'll do that i'm gonna write my name in this gold pen this is the pilot g-207 and this is like the gold then i think i'm gonna add some gold stars to this page just to schnazz it up. 
this will just add some shine to the page which i love okay so this will be journal number six i believe let's see this one is journal number five so this one will be journal number six So these two papers I got from Michaels. You can get them from really any craft store in the section where they have individual sheets of paper. Where I go, these sheets of paper normally cost 79 cents each, and they're a great way to schnazz up your journal. So I'm using the craft paper to put my journal number six and the start and end date, and then this is just a little decoration piece. This is the glue, glue stick. It's not the best glue stick I've ever used, but it's fun to have a square glue stick. I don't really understand why glue sticks weren't designed that way originally. It just makes sense for like corners and stuff. I got this really cute tape from Paper Source. And it's Halloween themed, but I just like them as schools. I really like how like collagey this looks. I don't know if I'm gonna really put anything over here. I'll probably put some stickers here over time, but I'm not gonna do it right now. It's now time for the final look at this journal. Here is the outside cover. I'm not completely sure how I feel about this right now but yeah this will be journal number six and then of course here is the inside cover and today I don't think I'm gonna do like anything else for the start of this journal because I just don't feel the need to for this one but sometimes I'll do like welcome pages and stuff but I'm just happy with it being like this Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Also, don't forget to check out my Etsy and my TikTok. They'll all be linked down below if you're curious. Okay, goodbye.